Welcome back. Um, it's been a long time, two months. Um, kind of dropping this video out there just to let everyone know I'm still alive and we will be forging up a storm pretty fast. So on today's video, I'm going to do something quick, simple, and they sell easy, and that is bottle openers. I have a bunch somewhere in the house that I'll sneak into the video. But how this is going to work is, this is, let me just measure it. Three inches long, quarter inch thick, and an inch wide. These work pretty good. Um, they yield a pretty nice um, bottle opener. And I'll show you step by step how I do it. You can do things differently. Doesn't matter how you do it, but I'll, I'll show you a few tricks what I do, especially with a little tab that catches the, the bottle cap. Um, this one I started punching. I don't know if you can see it, but. What I do now is I just drill the holes. It's easier and faster. So, I mean, that thing's still under construction. So hopefully by the next video, we'll be forging with coal and not with my propane forge. And I need to make a stand for my propane forge. But more of that later. Okay, let's get into it. Now before I throw this in the forge, let me show you guys something. Over here, um, I generally try and get the same distance from the hole to the edge on this side, same on that side, and then same on the top. It makes it easier to stretch it out and get everything nice and even. I could have drilled this a little bit more this way, but I'll fix it. Let's stick it in the forge. First thing I'm gonna do is when it's hot enough, I'm gonna. This is an old track carrier, real road track carrier that I bolted down to my anvil stand. So I'll bring it out, throw it over my hardy holes, and I will start drifting them out. And as soon as it's uh, drifted out quite a bit, I'll bring it over to the horn of the anvil and start shaping it.
before I bring this back to forge again, I'd like to show you, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera. So I'm going to start hitting it on the face of the anvil now and try and get this thickness down to the same as the rest of the bar, quarter inch. And to make sure the overall thickness of this ring is the same. Alrighty. No need for my big hammer, I'm just going to use my little two, three pound one. From here on out, you're more than welcome to bring it back and forth from the face to the horn, the face to the horn, just to keep this ring nice and even. From the inside to the opposite side is around inch and a quarter. That goes from side to side too, obviously. Alrighty, so I'm going to show you a trick. I'm going to start putting that tab in, but most guys only use like a ball punch or something and they just bang 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 get the tab out. What I do is I use a ball punch and I use my slot punch at the same time. Let me show you. There it is. Okay, so ball and slot punch. Take the ball punch first. Start about a quarter inch away from the edge. Set your mark. Slowly start forging to the edge. Sweat, sweat, sweat. Okay, see? Now, it's kind of getting a little tab pushed out, right? So next up what I'm gonna do, see it's still nice and thick. I'm gonna use my slot punch, and right in these corners, where it bulges out from the main body, into the tab, right there at the corner of the slot punch. I'm going to put the slot punch down diagonally this way and forge it down. I'll show you the effect after it's done. Okay, so this is cooled down. Um, I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like right now. So, the inside of this tab, uh, I'll clean it up when I start forging this again. Um, get that nice and flat, get this pushed out a bit more, just a little bit more, not much. And then, I'm gonna start forging the back end. Now, issue with this is, is when you throw this in and it heats up, you have a massive chance of bending this ring. So I would suggest doing this first and then start working on this.
Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna use two tools. I can use my hot cut chisel and this ball punch that I cut with my angle grinder. I just cut a little like an edge off and it gives it a really nice effect. So I'm going to establish a line right down the middle of the bottle opener and then I'll follow up with this. Okay, time for the ball punch. Well, half a one. See, it gives a nice little effect. So, I'm gonna continue doing this up to there, and then I'm gonna keep squeezing the metal out. There it is. And it works. Oh. So there it is. Purdy. Hope you guys like this video. Click like, subscribe, everything is on.
this side here. Um, next video, probably be next week, I guess. Because I'm going back to work. I was on holidays and I was 10 days back in South Africa. And now I'm back. And this is the first thing pretty much that I forged with a new setup. And I'm still cleaning up. That thing has to run one of these days. How that's going to work, I don't know. I haven't tested it out yet. But that thing runs. Damascus Steel. Middle of winter time in here with coal. Okay, anyway, hope you guys liked it. Um, catch you on the next one. See ya.